Hey party people, it's CanCan, -Can, and I would like to welcome you to the CanCan -Can Auction, Monday, August 15th, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. There will be Morgans, including two 2021 Morgans. Proof sets, Barber, Walking Liberty, Benji Half Dollars, Buffalo Nickels, much more. I added four lots. They will each have an A after them, and they will each be $1 starting bids. So let's jump into lot one. 1971 through 1976 S proof sets, and you will get all six of them, 1971 through 76. Lot two will be 1978 through 1980. You will get all three. Lot number three will be 1982 through 1989 S. Again, proof sets, you'll get all eight of them. Moving on to lot four. 2022 this is opened u.s mint uncirculated set p and d and that would be lot four moving on to lot five that douche lot five will be some currency this one is a two dollar 1976 series and it is an off center cut as you can see it's right up to the edge there and it's all fat right there Anyways, it's uncirculated. It's out of Cleveland, Ohio, and this one is lot number five. Lot number six, moving on, or no, lot 5A. This one will be a $1 starting bid for the $1. This is a Godless Note, series of 1935, Blue Seal Silver Certificate. There's no motto above one. And this will be lot 5A. All right, moving on to lot six. Here we go. This is the Wide Rim 1979 Philly, the desired Susan B. Anthony. And it is the Wide Rim. I'll show it to you really quickly here. Close date. There it is. All right, that one will be lot number six. Moving on to lot seven. 19060 Barber Half Dollar. Here we go. We got a Baba 19060. That'll be lot seven, lot number eight. 1908 S, Barber Half Dollar. There's the obverse. Reverse is a little more worn, but it does have the S mint mark. 1908 S, more, or a Barber Half Dollar. That's lot eight. Lot nine, moving on to a 1915D, last year of issue for the Barber Halves. There we go, 1915 Denver. That'll be lot nine, moving on to lot 10. We have a 1879S with the reverse of the 1879 Morgan, half to, or Morgan Silver Dollar. 1879S with the reverse of the 1879. All right, that's lot 10, lot 11, 1921 Philly, Morgan. That'll be lot 11, 1921 Philly, lot 11A. Oof, I hope the daylight picks this up. 1881S PCGS MS63. You got the blast white here and then you got the space toning the reverse is absolutely gorgeous and uh man there's the s mint mark but it's got this beautiful rainbow space toning on it just on the reverse i'll stop staring at it <laughs> here's the obverse MS-63, PCGS 1881S. All right, that one will be lot number 11A. Moving on to lot 12, Pamp Swiss, one gram, four nines fine gold. There it is, Pamp Swiss, fine gold in the assay. A lot of detail on that one little grammar bar but it is gold that's lot 12 oh yeah halftime stretch feels good 
All right, moving on to lot 13, second half. Here we go. Lot 13 will be a lot of five, all, all of them from 18 or from 1979. You'll get the wide rim. Again, nice condition. This is the close date. You'll also get the regular narrow rim or, or yeah, whatever. 1979 Denver, 1979 S, and then also the 1979 S proof. So all five of the, uh, there's the wide rim, all five of the 1979 Susan B. Anthony's for one lot, that'll be lot 13. 14, 1865 two cent piece. Show it to you really quickly under the scope. It's missing the Wii on the high spot. There we go. Of the banner. 1865. And it has in God and the trust, but the Wii has been worn off. But that's lot 14. 1865. Two cent piece. 14A. This one will start at $1. You'll get the 1936 and 1937 Philly Buffalo nickels and they do have full horn and they still got the luster. There's the 37. There's the horn. Here's the 36 horn. Nice looking Buffalo nickels. Those will start at a dollar. That's 14A, the Buffalo Nichols, 36 and 37, Philly. Lot 15, 1969, proof set with 40% silver half. That's 15, moving on to 16. Get into the Morgans, the 2021s. You get the Philadelphia original packaging and everything. That's lot 16, and then lot 17, you'll get the Denver original packaging. That's lot 17. Moving on to lot 18. Yeah. Kookaburra. It does have the Perth mint mark, the P. 2014. Three nines fine silver. Kookaburra. I'll show you really quickly the Perth mint mark. Not on that side. There it is. So right around 7 o'clock is the Perth, the P, mint mark, 2014, one ounce kookaburra. That will be lot 18, lot 18A. We'll bust out a 1891 seated Liberty quarter. A little bit of a low ball on the reverse, but is that a mint mark? No. 1891 seated Liberty quarter. That'll be 18A. Lot 19, start moving into the walkers. 1937, Walking Liberty half, Philly. Nice looking walker. 1937 Philly, that'll be lot 19. Lot 20 will be the 1938 Philly. Nice looking walker again. That's lot 20. Lot 21 will be the 1939 Walking Liberty. There we go. All right, that's 21. Lot 22 will move on to oh, beautiful blast white Benji proof. 1962 proof Benji. There we go, it's a stunner. That's lot 22. Lot 23 will move on to 1963, last year issue for the Benjis. This is a proof set with the envelope and COA. Gorgeous looking set. Not much toning even on the nickel. 1963 proof last year Benji all right that's lot 23 
Moving on to lot 24. We've got Kadoosh. W quarter 2020 V75 Privy. And it is in nice condition. Not much circulation, if any. There's the V75 Privy mark, and it is the Salt River Bay. Little bit of coloration on the reverse. I've kept it in this envelope there, so it may have taken on a little bit of toning. There we go. That's lot number 24, the W quarter. Lot 25, gorgeous Benji, 1960 Philly. Genuine uncirculated. And it is a stunner. Blast white. Comes in this capsule by PCS Stamps and Coins. It's not graded, but it does come in this uh, slab, I should say. 1960 Philly. All right, that's lot 25. And lastly, lot 26. One more Blast White Benji Proof. 1960. So you got the 1960 Proof Benji. That'll wrap it up. There will be maybe some surprises, you never know. Can Can Auction, Monday, August 15th, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. Hope to see you then, and take care. Count your blessings and not your problems. Peace.